Galaxy Burger. The game where you're going plant to plant to serve different species of aliens. Tasty burgers. Wow. And on each plant, you're trying to gain enough reputation and money to unlock further planets. Also, this game's co-op and you can have up to eight players, which is kind of insane. And obviously, we're starting with our own galaxy and we're starting off with our first planet, Mercury. But later down the road, you can also go to different galaxies and get different planets. It's going to cost a lot of money and a lot of reputation to unlock those galaxies. And basically, Mercury is the tutorial planet of this whole game. And with Mercury being the first planet, our only customers are robot cats which have the most annoying voice thing. I'd rather listen to Animal Crossing speech bubbles. And after completing your first day on Mercury, you unlock the burger recipe and the cheeseburger recipe. And we're gonna keep on doing this until we have enough money and our reputation grows to unlock the next planet. This game's like Papa Burgeria, but it's not really a time-based trial until you unlock four stars on each planet, which is kind of a letdown. And after completing day two, we unlocked mayonnaise. And this guy wants three well done patties. This thing is gonna be the most dry burger I've ever seen with no ketchup or mayo. So also right next to the grill is the trash bin. So don't accidentally misclick and place ingredients into the trash bin if you're trying to place it back into the ordering station. And after completing day five, we unlocked onions. I guess this game is more realistic than I thought because this guy just ordered a cheeseburger with no cheese and no ketchup, just making it a plain burger. There's your plain burger, sad eyes. I hope you enjoy. And at any time, we can actually go to the next planet, which is Venus, because we have 387 space bucks and it only costs 120 to buy the pass. And on the side, you can see the different benefits to each planet. With Mercury, we only had one cash register and we have a $16 shift bonus and 5% tip. Whereas if you go to Venus, it only has one register as well. The shift bonus is only 10, but we can increase that. And the tip is the same. Also, we get new recipes. We get onion rings, fries, and we get eggs. So I'm gonna purchase the pass for right now. And like Mercury, increasing our reputation on Venus will unlock the different game modes. And with Venus, we have new characters to serve. Yeah. who are just as annoying as the cats. So for your enjoyment, I'm gonna lower the voice. For me, I'm gonna be hearing that directly into my ear, into my soul. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike Mercury, Venus, you have a $10 fee to rent this place out. So it almost makes sense to stay on Mercury as much as you can to unlock the different game modes, increasing your reputation, and also gain enough money to unlock the different planets and also be able to rent them out. Surprisingly, it seems like you cannot over grill the onion ring because there's no timer after that. And just like that, we got ourselves another deep fryer and another small stove. They want two fried eggs. Okay, that should be simple. They want three raw onions and they want mustard on a egg burger. What kind of sadists are you? I mean, I know ketchup on eggs, but mustard, uh, I don't know anybody that does it that way. You eat mustard on your eggs, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> After this day, we unlock mayonnaise, cheese balls, and some other stuff. I would change planet, but I wanna see what these cheese balls are all about. They want our cheese balls, and they want a burger and a simple burger. Man, that's a lot of cheese balls. I think there's like eight there. Cheese balls are almost done. Let's see how good these look. They look okay. Is that face paint on you, or did you get a band-aid on your nose? I guess we have enough money to unlock the next planet, which is boring old Earth. Yes, we'll have two registers at least, but the rent and the shift bonus are gonna cancel each other out, and we'll have a 7% tip. And it costs 190, and we have 802. We're gonna purchase this. Looks like we have potato wedges now as the new thing. Anything else that looks different? Uh, lettuce. So earthlings, they love their lettuce. That looks like an earthling if I ever saw one. Look, look at this Cletus looking guy. We got a bigger grill on earth, but we did sacrifice on the two deep fryers, which doesn't make sense since new earth is like, oh God, this is where it would be very beneficial to have co-op. I unlocked a new recipe, the galaxy burger. Great. Looks like lettuce on the bottom. What the heck? Spiky hair, man. Is that a mushroom growing out of your head? What the heck is that? Hey, buck teeth, what do you want? So it's a vegan burger and a french fry. I'm gonna cook your buns on my meat soaked grill. Yeah, that's vegan enough for you. Hey, new deep fryer. We've got two deep fryers now. Oh God, it's a meat lover. Oh my God, look at that. He wants all well done patties. Are you crazy? And potato wedges. Well, at least he has potatoes in his diet. Man, freaking robot kitten over here looks pissed off. We unlocked chicken nuggets and red onions. Sweet. A quick jump cut right there. I played a little bit off camera to unlock a few things. And this is what I unlocked so far. On Mercury, I got a four star reputation rating, which unlocked the game mode time challenge where customers rate your cooking speed, but you get a shift bonus of 300%. So each time I complete a shift on Mercury, I get 66 space credits. So the difference between time challenge mode and the other modes, time challenge mode, you have a little timer at the top left of the ticket to show how much patience the customer has. Also, every time you complete an order in time challenge mode, you get a lot more reputation points than the other modes. The other thing I recognize in time challenge mode is that everybody has the title of impatient or very impatient, meaning you have to complete the orders super fast. And I can only imagine soloing time challenge mode on the other planets where you have multiple registers open being a complete nightmare. And that's why it advertises the co-op mode in the main menu. The other thing I forgot to mention is each plant has its own secret recipe of burgers. As you complete shifts, 
objects on that planet, you have a chance to unlock the secret recipe. So for Mercury, we unlock the Mercurian Burger. Earth, you have the Terra Burger. Moon, you have the Moon Burger, obviously. Mars, you have a Martian Burger, and so forth. Now, the other thing I noticed is different planets also have unusual visitors. Like Jupiter has the Bread Lovers, which I really want to go there because, you know, baked bread and all. And I noticed this IO one has wealthy visitors, which means probably more money. So I can't wait to get to that one. I think what we'll do, since we have the reputation and we have the money, we're gonna unlock moon system. So the moon doesn't seem that hard yet. It just adds another step, which is drinks, which luckily takes care of itself. All in all, I think this is a very fun, relaxing game. Whether you're playing by yourself or you have eight friends, like God forbid, that'd be a chaotic mess. I think it's a good try, especially if it's on sale. And I think I'm gonna end it right here. If you wanna see more videos of Galaxy Burger, let me know in the comment section below. There's a whole lot of more galaxies and plants to explore so i'll be happy to showcase them and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow and like always i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video